today the tuple built-in function in Python 3. All right, let's start with a look at the docs. So tuple only takes one argument, and that argument needs to be an iterable. Why this is interesting is because you can create tuples with more than one argument like this, but if you wanted to do that same thing with the function, uh, it's not going to work. It thinks you've received three arguments instead of one. So in this particular case, you'd have to actually pass a tuple to a tuple. So just wanted to make you aware of that right off the bat, but let's get back to the basics. So we can instantiate empty tuples uh, by not passing any argument to the function. And I want to assign that to a variable called a, and we can check that we have a type of class tuple. Now let's learn about what we can pass to the tuple function. So we know that we can create empty tuples, but we can also pass any iterable in here. So we can take a list and turn that into a tuple. As I mentioned earlier, we could also pass a tuple to the tuple. We can also pass a set to the tuple. And if we pass a dictionary to the tuple, it's only going to take the keys. So we could do one foo, uh, two, and we see that it has returned the keys here. And we could even add a third key that's not an int, like hey. And here we have a tuple with one, two, and hey. Lastly, if we had a string, that will be considered an iterable when we pass it, so it's going to split that up for you. Next, I want to talk about a tuple's immutability. So let's say we created a tuple here, one, two, three. And actually, let's assign that to A. So here's our tuple, and we know that A1 is 2. If we wanted to reassign that to something else, we're going to get an error saying that tuples do not support item assignment. They are immutable. So what you could do is take your A variable and turn that into a list. So now A is a list, and we can bring back our A1 equals hey. We've now changed that. We've changed that in our variable hey and we can change a back to a tuple. And now we have a new tuple of a, and hey represents that index at position one. So I think that's one of the main use cases of, of the tuple function, is to wrap it around lists and kind of protect it from being mutated and changed. So anytime you have a list of values that are not going to change, you can wrap a tuple around it and make that a little bit safer. I think that's pretty much it, so I will say thanks for watching.